Good morning. I am going to film in uh, two different YouTube channels, um, both the Woke Nation podcast and my other channel that I run with my wife. She barely either ever comes there. But we manage that channel. It's called D and Juice. So I'm filming on two different videos, two different channels, excuse me, and a podcast. Two YouTube channels and one podcast. Anyway, this video is going to be um, about multiple topics, basically. I'm going to touch on this issue that's going on in Akron. Or a guy named Jay something was shot 90 times, something like that, by the police. But he was he was shooting at them. I don't have the whole story, the whole you know extent story. But wow, that's crazy. So so what I want to touch on is is how protesting is still a thing in the so-called black community. And I think protesting is stupid. Now you may think I'm a a very hateful person about black people. I'm not. I just hate you know. Uh, I don't want to say the N word, but I just call them ninjas. I don't like ninjas. I think ninjas are viruses. I think, they're, I think they're, they're the ones that cause trouble, not the black people. I think black people are awesome. I think they're beautiful. I think Asian people are beautiful. I think so-called white people are beautiful. Ninjas are the disease. They're the issue. So, so since, since, since we're talking about ninjas, I'm not sure if a Jay something who got shot 90 times was a ninja or a black person. I don't know. But hearing that he was shooting at the police, Driving high speed, I mean, to me, you're a ninja. I'm not saying he deserves to be shot that many times, but hey, ninjas are stupid. Ninjas are not just black people. Ninjas could be Asians. Ninjas could be dogs. Ninjas could be this beautiful car right here. In my world, a ninja is anything. It's, a, it's anything. Person, place, or thing, that's a ninja. Right? If you're ignorant. How beautiful is that plant? Where? This big one. Sorry to, um, I guess that was the word. The uh, the dis, dis disruption, I guess. But we're in Key West, Florida, and as you can see, this beautiful, gorgeous area of this town is where we're staying for a few days, and it's beautiful. But um, I want to talk about that also. So I'm going to touch on a lot of different points. But yeah, ninjas are the worst. Ninjas are to me scum of the world, ignorant, dumb people, trouble, all of that. Again, ninjas could be anything. Dark skin, light skin, Hispanic, I don't care. If you're a ninja, it means you're ignorant. You're dumb. Anywho, so to be touch on that topic, I want to talk about how some people that I got a chance to experience last night here in Key West, who I find to also be ninjas. Little did I know, Key West has a ghetto. Key West, Florida has a hood. Ninjas are everywhere. They're even in this beautiful, gorgeous town of Key West. I didn't even get here. We're going the right way. Okay. So we um we're heading back to the it, the Airbnb we're staying. Just got done paying the car for overnight um, parking. We just, we just have to walk over to pay for the car. And now we're walking back to the Airbnb. Hopefully, go to the beach today. Yeah, we're going right now. See, that's the wife talking. First of all, and yeah, my wife is Caucasian. Right? I'm gonna touch on that also. So yeah, last night I went walking two little dolls of ours and across the street from where we're living in the Airbnb, there's this- uh, right here on Duval Street. Okay. So Duval Street is the, the street that goes to the beach. Yeah, the most expensive to stay because it's right downtown. I won't put you in video. Well, we're not on Duval Street exactly. We're on Whitehead, which is Behind the Wall Street, right? Block behind it. There you go. So yeah, we're but staying. It's like two minutes to walk to the Wall Street. So we're staying in like the popping area, basically of Key West, right? where everything is going off. The restaurants, the all the attractions, all the fun part that people come here to experience. That's where we're staying, and just in like the heart of Key West, I guess you want to say. But anyway, across the across the from where we're staying, last night I walked two little dolls of ours in the area and I saw this nice little grass area across the street so I decided to cross the street to walk the dogs on a grass area where most dogs do their business number one and number two right cool check I do that and this old woman ninja right not a black person a ninja an old woman ninja she was sitting on her porch drilling me the entire time walking these dogs and she saw me with the plastic bag in my hand to pick up the poop 
once the dogs did their business, right? Because I'm a good, respectful person. I don't do that in someone's property. I would never do that. So I had the bag ready to pick up the poop. And this lady let me have it. This old ninja let me have, not a black person. Again, black people and ninjas are two different people. Two different people. The ninjas are the most pathetic, worthless, troublemaking viruses you can ever encounter. I used to be a ninja. I used to be a ninja. Yes. Oh, I used to be a ninja. I used to be a ninja. If you see how I dressed back like 20 years ago, you will say, okay, this dude was a ninja back then in his days. I was. I was sucked into that world not knowing what I was a part of. And I'm glad I kind of outgrew that. Got more mature. Realized being a ninja is super embarrassing. Yes. If you're a ninja, change. Become better. Become responsible. Go get a job. Pay some taxes. Live life. Meet people. Interact with different people. Not just only so-called black people. But everybody. But anyway, we're here in the beautiful Key West. Look at this. 360 view real quick. Right? I got all my shorts. Shirtless, as I usually do. Because it's hot down here. And why not? But yeah. So the lady grilled me the entire time I'm with these two dogs. And she just went off. You can't bring your dogs across the street like that. What's wrong with you? You're disrespectful. I'm my lady. The two little dogs, they have to go, you know, use their, you know, uh, do their business. She's like, I don't care. You did that across the street where you live. Apparently, this old ninja was watching our every move along with her group of ninjas on their porch. Let me explain. The minute we came and stayed at the Airbnb, right? Like the minute we stepped foot into this property, they were watching the, us the entire time. Not because they were just on us, because they like us. All they do all day is people watch. These ninjas don't work. They just watch people all day and just gossip, ain't got no money. They just, they just bring their old asses over here and just like, you know, take up space and just travel basically, right? So we're here visiting this gorgeous island or city and she sees us and they already have something to say because they have nothing else better to do. There's roosters everywhere, first of all. If you hear those things go off, they're everywhere. Like if I can show you a picture of roosters, let me like show you like a little, a little, a little scene. They're everywhere, I'm sorry. But anyway, so um, this old niche is going off. She's getting mad at me, she's, she's just cursing me out, blah, 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 blah. Oh, she didn't curse me out, I'm sorry, she didn't do that. But she's just really angry and she's just being belligerent loud and then her ninja daughter comes out the house with the broom in your hand threatening to hit me with the broom you hurt me you hurt me this ninja comes outside with the broom so threatening to hit me because i was on their property right and then they threatened to call the police which they did and i just yeah, go back and forth they huh they, they called the police and they threatened to you know have me arrested blah blah blah, blah whatever and then um so once I leave the property, I can't even pick up the poop because it was so dark at night because I was so busy talking to these idiot ninjas. I couldn't find the poop to pick it up. My mission was to not leave the poop on their property. Here's the thing, it's not even their property. It's the projects. Yes, there is the ghetto. It does a ghetto in Key West, y'all. I promise. It's called Housing Authority of Key West, City of Florida. You will see it, just Google that up. It should pop up in your phone. Housing Authority of City of the city of Kiwa, something like that. Like they live there. So it's like, how could you get mad at people taking a dog and poop on the property that doesn't even belong to you? It belongs to the government. It's a ghetto, it's, 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 it's a projects. That's where they live. Ninjas live in the projects. That's where ninjas live. Hmm? But like I said, they don't, they don't work. All they do all day is basically just people watch on their porch. That's what the cops said. Because she did call the police, right? And the police came to our Airbnb to, to see what was going on, blah, 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 whatever. The guy was super cool. Caucasian cop. I'm not a problem with police. Because I'm not a ninja. I don't give people problems. That's not what I do. Excuse the noise. It's like construction going off over there. Let me show you real quick. So noisy. Hold on. Hold on. A lot of noise. I'm sorry for the noise. Bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Woo! Noisy. Morning. All right. Oh, I'm sorry.
so sorry. So sorry about that. I wish you could hear me. I'm, it's, if you can't hear me because of the noise, I'm sorry. If you can't hear me, let me just continue on with the story. So basically, the cops come to our Airbnb. The guy talks to us and tries to see what's going on. He was so cool, right? He just gave us a warning. Hey, don't go, on, don't go back on the property. It's, it's, it's just the projects. The dude told me out of his mouth, he said, this is what they do all day. Just people watch. They're on your porch. They're just troublemakers, really. They have nothing else to do because they're poor. They call a lot. They, huh? call, they call a lot. They're just trouble. They call the police a lot of yeah, anyone on their so-called property. I don't like ninjas. The lady had to just, all she had to do was just relax, calm the hell down. There's two little dogs. As she saw a plastic bag in my hands to pick up the poop, and she still gave me trouble. As if I'm here, it's not even her property. That's the crazy part. It's not even your property. You're not even a tenant. It's, it's, she pays like $2 a rent every month. You're, yes. you're, you're poor. You're trash. Yes. Your whole family is trash. All of them. Ninjas are nothing but scum. Ninjas, you know what they said too? I've got this part, this best part. The daughter with the broom in her hand said, I saw you cross through with that white woman. I'm talking about my wife, basically. You see what I mean? They just sit there and watch you all day long. That's how pathetic and worthless they are. They just watch all day. As if I care that she's watching me. We should get on that thing right there, that trolley. What do you think? Right there, Charles. Right there. Just like the tour, the, 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 the city or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she, uh, she, she brought up the, the topic of she saw me walking with the white woman. You see what I mean by pathetic? Now, now they play the race card. This is what they do. Again, black people and ninjas are two different people. Black people are wonderful. They're like Asians or Caucasians. They're just, they're wonderful people, right? It's the ninjas are the ones you have to just watch out for. Because I had no idea that was a project across the street. I promise, if I knew this, I would not even step foot on their property. On the government's property, not her property. Her poor ass can't afford nothing. She can't, she's poor, she's trash. Ezra, actually, actually we're across here from the project right now. Right there, y'all, this is the project, right here. I was across this yard, nearly right here. Right here, I was across the street. Walking to a little dogs. So first I came over here. D, you can go inside. I'll just see you later. Well, let me finish up. I'm almost done. So I walked the dogs around here, right? And there's not much grass in this area, as you can see. So I went across the street over here. Over there, there's a grass area across this building. That's where all this happened. That's where it all took place. Like I said, I did nothing wrong, yo. But I do want to touch on this, 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 this topic about so-called black and white people. My wife is beautiful. She has a great, she has, she love her character. Her family is wonderful. They're supportive. They're just welcoming great people. They just happen to be Caucasian, which is dope, right? So for them to have a problem with me doing that, not, not like, have a, not, like that affects me because it doesn't, but it just shows you how pathetic some people are so focused on skin color. And she has to bring that up to me that she saw me doing this. So what? I mean, this is how pathetic you are as a person. Look how, look what you're focused on. I'm living life. I'm, I'm shirtless, walking in shorts. I look great. I, I, I'm in the plant-based diet. I have a wonderful wife, married, as you can see. Life is just awesome. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying life. And for you to have a problem, you know, with what I'm doing, as if I, as if I care, first of all, I don't care. I'm just saying, by you to be so focused on stuff like this, and you live in this gorgeous town of Key West, and this is what you do all day, it's people watch, stay on your porch, and just gossip or something. People come over here, this is, this is a gorgeous, look at how nice this area is, look at this. Gorgeous area. Key West, Florida, beautiful area, right? And you live here, this is where they live, right? This is what I'm talking about, it's called the, the Housing Authority. Um, I see it right there, literally, in front of me. It's called the Housing Authority of the City of Key West, Florida. And they live here in this beautiful, you know, area. It's gorgeous out here, right? And this is what they do all day on their porch. Let me show you real quick. Let me go on this cross street. This is what they do all day long, literally. It's just people watch. It's, it's sickening. It's, just, it's sad. It's, um, it's pathetic, basically. Right here, y'all. Look at this. 
This is where they live right here, y'all. Right there. Trash ass people. Right? There's a sign right there. I, I, I didn't even see this sign when I was crossing the street. Had I known, I would not even step foot on this property of the government. This is where they live. Know what I mean? <laughs> this is where they live. Fucking trash, pathetic, broke, waste of lives. Yeah. And we still cross street over here in this building somewhere. Really nice Airbnb. It's gorgeous. It's nice. Anyway, so yeah. Um, for them to live in this gorgeous town of Key West, and this is what they do all day is people watch and gossip and just start trouble, calling the police for two little dogs taking a poop on the grass. You're trash. Anyone that's like this, I don't care what city color you are, you're just garbage. I hope one day they tear all this down, right? I hope they say, you know what? Screw all these, screw this, this development. We want to build a casino or something over here. And we got to tear all this shit down. And y'all got to go. I pray to God that happens. Like, I, I pray to God they very much come up with an idea to take all that down. And you got to go. There's nothing you can do because you don't own the property. Right? You do not own the property. So you don't have a choice but to leave. I pray to God that happens to these scum-ass trash people that live in these places. I do. Because I don't like trouble. I don't like broke-ass people always play victim. I don't care what skin color you are. I don't, I, I don't like people like that. Like I said, I'm, I'm posting this on two different channels, YouTube channels, and one podcast. Um, yeah, so make sure you are subscribed to both of them. And um, if you're on Woke Nation Podcast, become a member of the email news list. You can do this by signing up on WokeNations.com. I'll leave the link down below in this video. But you log on to, you log on to WokeNations.com leave your first and last name you'll, you'll find it. it's like one page website you leave your first and last name your email address and you can just keep in touch with me this podcast this youtube channel and just kind of know what's going on you're always being up to date what's going what's going on because everyone that's on the email email news list is first notified about any announcement or any updates whatever so if you want to be up to date with everything with this channel or podcast or myself um join the email's news list um go on whatnations.com and you should find it. It should be very easy. It's just, it's just a one-page website. Like I said, I'm here in beautiful Key West. Feel me? Um, they, live in, they live in this gorgeous town over here. And they decide to live in this filth over there. And just sit on their porch all day and watch people enjoy life. That's the crazy part. There's people that come here all over the world to um, experience Key West. And people are, you know, uh, part of the city in terms of like enjoying the festivities, you know, going to different restaurants, boutiques, you know, doing some entertainment, just really enjoy the town and soak up the history. They live here. And what they do all day is sit on their dirty project looking porch that they can't afford nothing. Broke as hell, right? Starting trouble, basically. I pray to God, again, they some, somehow, some way decide to tear down those buildings and just get rid of them like most of the countries do. I guess the word is, um, what's the word? I'm not sure what the word is, but they just decide to update or to upgrade the environment. And they have to do this by tearing down their filthy ass home and bringing us new business because that's what life is all about. People don't want to see a ghetto. I don't want to see a ghetto. And I'm not saying all, everyone that lives in ghetto is trash, but hell, a lot of them live in these filthy ass places. So I hope they tear all this down. Key West, make it happen. If you watch this video, tear it down. Bring in some new restaurants, some new whatever. We don't want to see this garbage-ass projects, BS. Get rid of them. Ninjas need to go. Send ninjas to another planet. Let them kill themselves like, like they do any, in, in, anyway in, 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 the, in the ghetto. Let's kill each other. Like, make it happen. I pray to God it happens. But let me get out of here. Again, a lot of things I have to touch on about this video. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go enjoy the rest of my day. We're going to the beach, hit up some restaurants, and just chill, man. Enjoy life. Like these people on the bicycles, just chill out. Enjoy life. So, much love. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thanks for um, being here. Again, join the, emails, the email news list. Catch on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.